Kendrick Lamar. Just completely, okay, I got I, I to go here. Completely ether Drake with the They Not Like Us pop-up comedy. Uh, pop-up comedy. Pop-up concert in L.A. You got to realize the stars had to just align perfectly. He did on Juneteenth uh, in L.A. At the, I believe it was it was the Crypto.com Center, right? Where the Lakers play? Um, and played They Not Like Us five times in a row. And if you go to YouTube and watch it, whether you're a rap fan or not, it gives you goosebumps. To, you can, every now and then you can watch something and you can feel the energy from the crowd. You can literally feel it. When Whitney Houston sang the national anthem at the Super Bowl. Right when Desert Storm broke out. You felt that whole stadium crying. You felt it. Uh, this is one of the moments you could feel the crowd ever had their phones up. And every single time he played the song, the energy got bigger. Hell, the last time he wasn't even singing. He was just up there like the crowd was singing it. And then more people just show him. And the way he, the way he introduced it. Had Dre on. Dre was leaving. Kendra goes, you ain't got nothing to say to the people? And Dre was like, Shh, I see dead people. And the crowd just went, oh! And then at one point, there were so many rappers, so many NBA players on the stage. There was a clown. I think I saw I think I saw a pit bull. There was a baby. Uh, I, I swear there was people that were supposed to be on that stage and some people that weren't. <laughs> but, but it was just like, there was bloods. There was crips. There was just, everybody was there. It was, and to be from... I'm not from LA, but to know people from LA and how much pride they take in being from that city, and especially the the, the Compton area, uh, the lower income area, it's just like uh, I never felt like I, I had goosebumps every week, every night that I was getting ready for my show. I put that on when I got in the shower to get ready for my shows in Oklahoma City. I just press play. It's 20 minutes long, and it's just like you just feel it. I'm in, I'm in the shower. Like they not like us. Like I'm like I'm from LA. <laughs> I'm trying to crip walk. I don't know how to crip walk. <laughs> I almost broke my ankle. But uh <laughs> but yeah, watch it. And 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 I did I did Club Shay Shay, I did Vlad, and I did one other I did three podcasts back in May when I went to LA. Three big podcasts. And they all asked me the same question. They was like, Who you think won the Kendrick uh Drake battle? And I kept saying, I'm I'm predicting Drake's going to win in the end just because who Drake is. He, he he rarely takes an L. And now I'm like, all right, that, that performance right there, it's over. It's game over. Kendrick won. He won that battle. It's similar to like Drake, when Drake ethered Meek Mill uh, years ago when he did back-to-back. He did the diss, and then all of a sudden he came out with another diss like, 12 hours later, I was like, oh, and back to back's a banger. So you got back to back, and now you got Kendrick, they not like us. I go, I think that's one and two as far as like just straight up diss. I don't know. Tupac, Tupac had, you know, that's why I fucked your bitch. That was a good one too. Uh, yeah. But I, if you haven't seen it, I don't know where you've been, been living on a rock, please watch it. And you're, I'm, I'm a middle aged white dude. I'm not a hip hop head. I just like good music, uh, and always like Kendrick. I mean, she's uh, the Black Panther, Black Panther soundtrack. I remember the first time I met him. Well, I think the only time I really met him was Chris Bosh used to do is is when he was with the Heat. He used to do these huge birthday parties every year, and he hired me every year to perform. And it was it's basically like a little mini roast session. You're just picking off the guys in the audience. But the second year. He had uh he had Kendrick Kendrick Lamar as a musical performance. Um, first year I think he just had comedians. Second year he had Kendrick Lamar, and the third year he had uh Ty Dolla Sign and Bone Thugs and Harmony was his musical artist. But I um I remember I didn't know who Kendrick was, and I didn't I knew one of his songs, but I didn't know who sang it. And I remember when I got there right before the party got started, um, whoever my handler was for the party they said hey you want to meet Kendrick I said yeah and I walked over Kendrick was just sitting at a a two table high top with him and a white dude I'm assuming it's his agent or music rep he's like hey this Kendrick and I was like hey what's up man 
talked real quick, laughed. You know, it's it's always funny when these guys know who I am. So talked about five minutes, and the whole time I'm going, I know you, but I don't know you. <laughs> but I just fronted. And then when he, when he got on stage, I go, oh, shit, that's him? <laughs> I was like, I didn't know he sang that song. <laughs> and, the, I mean, I just remember LeBron going nuts. LeBron was just – that's. I mean, there were so many people in the audience at that – Kendrick Lamar pop-up show. It's just, the guy is the king of L.A. He's the king of hip-hop right now. And then Drake's just going to be like, but Drake's fine. We don't, and that's the thing. When you got these hip-hop battles, it doesn't have to be like, you're just completely anti-Drake. Just say, hey, Kendrick, you were, you were a, you were almost like a pawn to bring L.A. together. If you look at it like that. Because just to have all the, the bloods and crips and, Everybody else on stage, it was just, I mean, you felt it. You, you watch it.